Hello and welcome back to the We Missed the Exit uh, F1 show. This is the Azerbaijan Grand Prix preview. Uh, fell asleep last night uh, before I could watch qualifying, so we're going to do it before I'm able to watch the race. Uh, I think the race is going on right now, and uh, watch it later, but um, haven't had a chance to watch anything yet. Only qualifying, so this is without actually seeing anything that has to do with the race. Uh, my predictions and uh, quick uh, preview. Uh, something new we're going to try with the show here is rapid news, what happened since the previous race, what's going on in the news, not everything, just some uh, stuff that I feel is important. Sergio Perez signed a two-year extension with Red Bull. He's going to be there through 2024. Uh, I think it's a good signing for him. Um, the, the prospects get a little older, a little bit more um, experience. I, I feel like one of them is going to join Afatori this year, oh, another prospects, and... Uh, join them in two years. Uh, so let's see what happens. Sergio Perez has definitely earned his keep this year. Um, last year was a little hit or miss. This year has definitely been more consistent, more in there. Uh, Perez he says he's in the hunt for the championship. Uh, I do agree with that. Uh, he's definitely racing well and definitely pushing. Um, there's a little bit of controversy there where they let Verstappen around Perez and wouldn't let Perez around Verstappen. Um, I'm not a big fan of team rules and having a lead driver all the time especially when you have two drivers that are pretty close and you're only really doing it for um, individual championships uh, as opposed to constructors championships you know if one racer is clearly faster than the other then it makes sense to switch them but um, and I felt like that was the case this the race where Perez uh, had the issue said we need to talk and uh, I think he earned this two-year extension, and uh, I hope he does well in the championship fight. I still think Leclerc is going to end up with the championship, uh, but we'll wait to see um, if he can keep it together during races. He seems to be having some issues there. Um, Mick Schumacher, uh, some talks out of Haas with him. Is he done with the team? Uh, it's kind of early, to, tough to tell. Uh, he's costing them a lot of money when he keeps crashing his cars. And that is not good. Uh, Haas said they are already used up their budget for cars this year, and we're only nine racers in. So uh, that is definitely not good for him. Not a good look. Um, we'll have to see if that even keep if he even stays in Formula One. What team would take him? There's definitely some seats available. Um, whether you're talking about uh, going to possibly Alfa Romeo and replacing uh, Joe. Um, there's definitely seats available, so we'll be. In, I know Ferrari probably wants to keep him in line uh, when Signs is done. Signs, uh, you know, has been around a little while. Uh, Schumacher and Leclerc are both young, so we'll see what happens. Um, I'm sure Ferrari wants to keep him in their camp, but we'll see. I don't think Mick's done with F1. He proved himself too good in F2 to be done. Uh, I think he just has some growing and learning to do. He hasn't really had a, a chance to. Uh, work well. Uh, Haas, his first year was trash and definitely didn't learn anything as far as F1 goes. Uh, and his teammate was Mezepin, so um, I think that set him back a little bit. And if uh, Ferrari can keep him in their camp and uh, train him a little bit, I think that'll be good for him and Ferrari in the long run. Uh, and also coming out, uh, driver F1 is talking about salary cap for drivers. Um, I don't think that's going to work out. Uh, we're talking about 10 teams and 20 racers so having a salary cap doesn't really make sense it's not um, one of those team sports where you, there's dozens of people on each team so having a salary cap uh, to me doesn't make so much sense in F1 um, there's not a whole lot of um, competition as far as the teams have to deal with it's only the drivers so I think it's best to not have a salary cap for F1 that was the rapid news let's talk Baku, Baku City circuit um, Interesting circuit. I like it as far as um, as far as city races go. This uh, street races go. This is probably my favorite. Um, tracks pretty fun, pretty tight in places, and that long straightaway um, is definitely interesting uh, choice. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, here's the grid. Uh, Leclerc is going to start P1. Uh, one qualifying, uh, Perez is going to start P2, Verstappen P3, Sainz P4. So Ferrari, Red Bull, Red Bull, Ferrari. Uh, Russell is starting P5, Gasly P6, Hamilton P7, Sonoda P8, Vettel P9, and Alonso uh, P10. A little bit of controversy there with Alonso at the end of Q2. Uh, 
um, you know, stopping some of the racers from being able to do the lap. I think F1 should definitely look into causing some uh, for penalizing racers who uh, intentionally or unintentionally cause qualifying to um, uh, un unintentionally causing some issues with qualifying. Um, so I, I think they need to work on that. Some penalties, I'm not sure what they can do, but uh, I think they need to do something. Because uh, um, Mick Schumacher, Botas, um, a bunch of drivers had issues with uh, red flags, yellow flags, and messing up their uh, qualifying. Uh, I know that's part of the game, but uh, I think something should be done to make it a little bit more fair for everyone. And uh, Norris, um, I think it was P11. I don't have my nose in front of me, but I think he's P11. I, I think he's going to have a better race. We'll go over that in just a second with my predictions. Um, Red Bull being fast on that straight. Um, we'll, we'll get to my predictions in just a second. Uh, just going back to my notes. Real quick, uh, Baku circuit, obviously last year Verstappen was easily going to win that race until Pirelli sabotaged his car uh, with a tire blowout and he ended up uh, DNFing. Uh, really sad because he was running away with that race. Um, Hamilton obviously had a easy chance to win the race too, hit his magic mistake button and went straight instead of turning, uh, causing him to get out of the points. And obviously Perez last year won this race without the two lead drivers. Um, I wonder, we'll get to my predictions again in just a second, see if uh, I think he can do it again this year. So again, my predictions, I do think uh, that Red Bull being so fast down the straight, uh, I think Verstappen's going to win the race. Uh, Perez, I think is going to get second again. Red Bull's fast. Perez shown himself to be great at this course. Uh, he's starting P2. Uh, I think Perez is going to have a great race as well. Uh, Leclerc, I think, is going to have a little bit of a mistake during the race, and that's going to end up make him end up in P3. Signs I have at P4. Uh, Hamilton, I think, is going to have a good race this time. I, he's complained about a little bit of shaking in his car, but uh, I think he's going to be able to get P5. Uh, Norris, I have at P6. Um, like I said, he's starting 11th, but I, I think he's able to pull together here. And uh, he's able to get sixth. Uh, Gasly have a P7 uh, going down a little bit from where he qualified, but um, he he did great in qualifying, and uh, I think he's good enough of a driver to be able to uh, do P um, in the top ten. Vettel uh, I think is going to get in the points. Um, he's solid qualifying for him as well. Seems to get more comfortable with the car every time. Uh, what you expect from a veteran. So I do think Vettel's going to get some points here. Alonso, I think, is going to end up in the points as well. Um, he's shown he's got his elbows out and is able to hold up the pack. Um, so I think Vettel's going to get uh, P uh, ninth. And Botas, I think, is going to work his way through the pack and end up with points as well um, and end up at 10th. Um, I don't have Russell in here. Um, I think Russell's uh, luck comes to an end here. He's been top five every race this season. Uh, I'm looking at possibly a, mal a malfunction for Russell. Um, I don't think he's going to end up in the top 10 this race, but we'll see. I know I said I was going to keep Schumacher, um, Benny on Schumacher, but I, I can't do it. He needs to prove himself a little bit more. I thought he was doing better early in the season, and let's see if he can turn it around. Um, my fantasy uh, grid rivals is what we use for fantasy. Uh, this is my team currently leading. Uh, Verstappen is my last race with Verstappen uh, before I lose him for at least um, at least a race. I'd like to get some more points out of him. Uh, I've got Norris, so uh, that's probably why I put him up there a little bit. Um, I, I do think Norris is great. I got him when he didn't have a couple good races, so I got him up pretty cheap. Uh, I have Vittel as well. Uh, he's my star driver. Double points for him, so I'm hoping he has a great race. Uh, I have Leclerc. Um, I do hope he gets second or first, uh, and Verstappen first or second, uh, maximizing my points. Schumacher uh, is my lowest cost driver, so while I was able to stay under cap, um, he's always gotten more points for me than uh, than he's predicted to, so that's good for me. Uh, McLaren had a couple bad races, um, and they were cheap, so I picked up McLaren, and they're my uh, team for at least two more races. Or for two more races, we'll see. Um, I'm hoping one of the reasons I have signs in P4 is I want him to have a great race, but I want his value to go down a little bit so I can pick him up after this race and uh, have him replace Verstappen. 
and hopefully that works out for me. Uh, thanks for watching the We Missed the Exit F1 Azerbaijan preview. Uh, I just got an alert on my phone. The race is over. I haven't seen the results yet, um, but uh, let's see how my predictions go. We're going to do the review uh, show midweek. I'll uh, get that all together, and we'll get that up before the Canadian Grand Prix next week, which I forgot to put in here. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great day.